This week on The Wire, first home buyers told now is the time, Westpac lowers floor again and risks abated as prices recover. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, I'm Australia's leading financial educator. Welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment and more. Now please like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, welcome along and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Now, our top story for this week. First home buyers told now is the time. So first home buyers are back and they are back in large numbers. The latest ABS data shows 28.5% of home loan commitments in May were first home buyers, and that's compared to 20.4% two years ago. Investors have dropped off, putting first home buyers in the prime position. Realestate.com.au Chief Economist Nerida Cosby, Conesby says that this is the perfect time for aspiring property owners to take action. First home buyers do have the property market to themselves now, whereas previously they were competing with investors. And that's what Nerida Cosby says. The federal government will roll out a scheme in January allowing first home buyers to access finance with a deposit of only 5%. So the scheme will save first home buyers up to $10,000 in lenders mortgage insurance charges. Now, the Mortgage and Finance Association of Australia Chief Executive Officer, that's Mike Felton, says a combination of factors have made it more appealing for first home buyers to enter into the market. They have lower interest rates, lower personal taxes, and a lowered serviceability, which has turned the tables in favour of the first home buyer, he says. So great news for Australians trying to break into the property market there. So moving on to our next story. Westpac lowers floor again. So Westpac has made a fresh push for market share in mortgages by cutting its serviceability floor for the second time in 10 weeks to 5.35% from 5.75% mid-July. The decision to reduce the floor, which requires the bank to measure a borrower's capacity to repay the loan at a higher rate, establishes Westpac as the big four bank that can advance a customer's home loan when others may not be able to. Now, a spokesman for Westpac says the bank has decided to lower the floor from the 30th of September for all its brands, including Westpac, Bank of Melbourne, Bank SA and St George. The original serviceability floor of 7% was set by the Prudential Regulator as a means of protecting consumers from taking on too much debt and being caught out when interest rates eventually rose. The Australian Prudential Regulation Authority recognised the restriction was placing a handbrake on lending and in May it flapped, scrapping the hurdle, contributing to the flood of good news for property markets around Australia. So now for our final story for the week. Risks abated as prices recover. So the nation's top regulators are breathing a sigh of relief saying financial stability risks caused by the falling house prices in the big cities have abated somewhat as values bounce back, particularly in Sydney and Melbourne. Now in its latest quarterly update on systemic issues facing the financial system, the Council of Financial Regulators, known as COFA, has towed down its concerns about the availability of credit. The signs that regulators are growing more comfortable with housing come after Westpac cuts interest rates by 0.1% percentage points and ANZ Bank prefers to lower some deposit rates by the same amount. The potential risk to financial stability, financial stability from falling house prices in Sydney and Melbourne has abated somewhat, with prices rising in the past few months, the coffer says. The coffer is made up of the Reserve Bank, the Australian Prudential Regulation Authority, that's APRA, the Sec Australian Securities and Investment Commission, that's ASIC, and the Federal Treasury. They didn't appear to be concerned about the sharp rise in mortgage credit in July. So once again, it's certainly appearing that the Australian economy is headed for a soft landing and chances of a recession are negative. So guys, that's pretty much it from me. Now remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Now also stay tuned early next week for our Just Ask Tim video series and if you want to submit a question or there's a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there is a link in the post to do that. Apart from that guys, have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. Action. Have a great day. See you guys.